I'm Mallory O'Connor. I'm a retired art historian. I taught at the University of Florida and also at Santa Fe College. And I also was the gallery coordinator for the City of Gainesville's Department of Cultural Affairs in the Thomas Center Gallery. So I have a sort of varied career, but all of it devoted to the arts, which has always been a focus of my interest. I've always in my career also, though, been interested in natural science and in history. So those are sort of the three poles of my career in terms of my involvements. Uh, my degrees are in art and in art history and in American history. So I've had an opportunity throughout my career to combine these interests in ways that I have found very rewarding. I think it was really a natural then when Kim Popejoy, who's chair of the Superfund Art Project Board, uh, contacted me about the possibility of working with the board in the terms of being a, a, a person who brought uh, something from the visual arts to the interest of the entire board, which is both the visual and the performing arts, and how these artistic endeavors can be used to educate the public, to inspire the public, to bring people in, uh, to make them aware, uh, and to give them some uh, ideas about how we can solve environmental issues. Because certainly we have a lot of issues to resolve. We have uh, pollution problems, we have, uh, sometimes it seems very daunting, the number of environmental issues that we actually are facing these days. But in the terms of the Superfund Art Project, uh, we're talking about a very specific project, and that is working on the Superfund site that is here in the heart of Gainesville uh, on the Cabot Coppers property. This is something that I have found many citizens are not really aware of. They don't understand the dangers that we're facing uh, from the contamination at this site. They don't understand the remediation process that's going to be necessary to clean this site up. Uh, so that people in the whole community can feel um, that their quality of life has not been negatively impacted, that their health has not been negatively impacted by having this toxic site in the middle of Gainesville. The Superfund Art Project wants to use the visual and the performing arts in order to deal with this issue in a positive way. When I was working with the city of Gainesville, one of the rewarding things that I found was how you could bring citizens and government together to solve problems. And as the gallery director for the Thomas Center, it was always a challenge because you have a wide variety of different constituencies, people with all sorts of different ideas about what art should be, uh, how it should be displayed. And you also had the city government and you had rules and regulations that had to be followed. So trying to work with all of these different factors was uh, a challenge but also a very rewarding experience and it convinced me that citizens can work with the government and they can work with governmental agencies such as the EPA and they can work with corporate partners and even corporations that are not so positively disposed in order to combine forces and have a positive outcome and that's the whole point behind the Superfund Art Project. We want to see a positive outcome. We want to take a liability and turn it into an asset. And to do this, we are using several different kinds of strategies. Um, in the performing arts, we have people from theater. We have people from dance, from music. Uh, in the visual arts, people in sculpture, in painting, uh, in printmaking, in photography. So we have a, a variety of different people that are eager to come together and work together and they're very creative and very imaginative. And of course, that's what artists do. That's, that's, their, that's their plus, that's their focus, that's where they can really uh, bring something to the table. And having the artists at the table, I think, is a really important component because they bring imagination, they bring innovation, and they might come up with new ideas, with thinking outside the box, things that other people might not think about. So I think it's very important to include the arts in this dialogue and to have them present in this process for what they can bring by way of trying to solve problems and do it in a new and innovative way.